welcome to Thursday's Thrive Live. Today we get to talk about something that we can all use. The kids are back to school, there's work and laundry and everything, and that's learning how to prioritize that task list that just feels endless. And that is what we're gonna talk about today. How do you do it? Like We've all heard the same tricks and tips, and my goal is to share something with you that's new, and that especially has worked really well for me. And so, with that, let's get started. I am Sablin, this is Relative Growth, and we're all about giving you tips and tricks so that you can stop dreaming and start living. And it really, it comes down to, I wanna make sure that your heart and your soul are happy, that you have the tools that you need to be able to manage your time and your money so that you can focus on what matters, which is going out there and living a life full of passion and purpose. And that is what we're all about. So I like to start our day off with a quote, a mantra, a, a moment of inspiration because it allows us to sit and breathe. And the quote for this week is, it always seems impossible until it's done. It always seems impossible until it's done. Think back on a time in your life where you felt like there was a project that was so incredibly big, that was bigger than you've ever done before, whether it was graduating high school or college or getting your master's, whether it was going out and applying for that job, having babies, getting to sleep through the night. It felt impossible when you first started, but day by day, task by task, moment by moment, you got it done. And that is what we want to talk about and learn about is what do we do on our day-to-day -day life? My story is I have three kids. I run a company and I have two other side companies. I have this blog and I have my husband's handyman company. And there are days where everything like feels like it's, in, it's important. And I can remember driving to work, being on less than four hours worth of sleep, knowing that from the minute my feet hit the office floor, there was payroll to approve. There was projects that needed to be done. And there just wasn't enough time to do it. This wasn't a life worth living. It, it wasn't sustainable. It was burning out on a daily basis. And there, I knew, I just knew that there had to be a better way. Just like how you're probably sitting there right now trying to figure out how to manage the kids' schoolwork, how to manage laundry and getting dinner on the table and meeting your deadline. There has to be a better way. There has to be time for you to breathe and for you to pause. And I promise you, there is. So in the link below or above or somewhere, I never know where it ends up going at the end of these videos, but there is a link to an article called the six ways on how to prioritize your task list. And that's going to dig a lot deeper than what we have allocated in this 10 minute video. So look there, there are some really good tips and tools and it's a stepping stone. This is with everything I talk about, it's going to be a magic formula. You're going to have to play around with it because life is all about playing around with it to find what works and fits for you. And I want to talk today about priorities. And this is going to help being able to establish what is important on your task list. But when I was prepping for this, I felt like I had to segue. I had to talk to that sublin five years ago that was crying because I was so overwhelmed with everything that needed to be done. And maybe that's where you are today. So here is what I want to tell you. One, if you are an employee and you are so busy and you are so stressed, go and talk to your manager. I say this because I have had my team members come to me and tell me that they are stressed out and I had no clue. I was giving them more stuff, not realizing that they had that much on their plate. So go and communicate with your manager. They want you to succeed as much as you want that company to succeed. So they may just need to know, hey, I need help. If you are a manager or a business owner, I encourage you to train your staff. You hired them because they were smart and capable human beings. Allow them to help you. 
because you will find magic within them that you may not have known. And so allow that to happen. If you are a mom who is needing help at home, house cleaners, gardeners, grocery deliveries, friends that you can swap childcare with, rely on each other. You do not need to do it alone. Find a solution because it is out there and keep finding one until it works for you. So that was my little like disclaimer. I want you to know that what we're talking about that goes into these articles, they aren't quick fixes, but they are amazing fixes. So those were just the ones I wanted to really, just, it's okay to ask for help. So here's what I want to talk about. When it comes down to prioritizing your task list, we all know the secrets of, you know, you, go, you look at what's urgent, you look at what's overdue, you look at what's important, you look at, you know, the ones that have your deadlines. But we never talk about why something is important and why something is urgent. And that's where I want us to focus on. Because everything is going to feel important, everything is going to feel urgent until we understand what our dreams are and what our priorities are. And the best way to do that is to figure out where you want to be, who you want to be, how you want to be perceived. And I love the exercise of picturing yourself at your end of your life ceremony. And you get to see what people say about you. Who speaks to you? Who speaks about you? And what do they say? And this, of course, is coming from your heart. This is what you're manifesting because this is what you want people to say. Well, that's going to be your outline of like, if you want to be known for being a wonderful father, but you're working 60 hours at the office, that may not correlate. If your children never get to see you, then they're not going to have that memories that you had hoped for them to have. And so you may have to realign your priorities to be able to be there so that one day your children can look back and be like, I remember when my dad did this. I remember when my dad made it to my softball games and made it to my dinners and helped me with my homework. So that's where you really want to get clear on is who do you want to become? Because that's going to help align with what your daily priorities are. If you know that, and I'm going to use mine. So mine, for example, is my children are huge priority to me. But I realized I was working these insane hours. Yes, I'm using myself as the example. I was that parent. And I realized they're not going to care how many hours that I work. They're going to want me to be able to sit with them for that 15 minutes to be able to pause. That's going to mean more to them and more to me than being able to sit down and watch TV for 15 minutes. So I had to realign how I did things to make sure I built that into my day. You know, I wanted to make sure I grew wildly successful businesses. And so that sometimes does mean that I have to turn down invitations to go hang out with friends so that I can work on my dreams and my passions after the hours that I put into the other company that I had. And that was what I valued. And that was okay because I knew where that decision was going to lead me. Um, same thing with my reading materials. I want to be known as a fair and kind leader. I want to be looked at as that I motivated and inspired people to be able to grow great companies. And that all comes from being a good leader, which means I spend time educating myself on how to read people, how to, to speak with people, how to get the best out of people. And that's how, so when I'm sitting there reading a book, I don't feel as if it's a waste of time because it aligns with my priorities. And that all came clear from the exercise of how do I want to be remembered? Who do I want to be? And then starting to make those choices to live them today. And how do I do that? I get very organized with my task list. I use a day planner. I'm a big fan of lists and I'm a big fan of day planners. And in our article below, we actually have a free day planner for you. So it's a printable, so you can print as many as you want. It's amazing and it's my favorite from format because it helps you prioritize your task list. What is your dream? Who do you want to be? Well, that's going to be your first task that you get to accomplish. 
And then you have those three that you must do. Because you know what? Sometimes you have to do tasks that you really don't want to. I have year in financing to do. It really, I mean, it applies to growing wildly successful businesses. But it ain't fun. But I got to do it. And so it's up there high on my task list. And, and then from there, you just kind of move down. And so use that as your foundation of what and where you want to be. And make sure that the tasks that you're doing on a daily basis align with your values and your priorities. Friends, it has been fun. I will see you back here next Thursday. And what I'm going to talk about next Thursday is more on the fun and breezy side. We're going to talk about Halloween and how to make it a really special Halloween 2020 style. So come on back. We're going to have some great fun. And make sure you sign up in our weekly email letters or newsletters so that way you never miss a thing. If you have not already liked the Relative Growth page, do so now. And please, 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 yes, I am, baby. It helps with the algorithms to be seen. Give this video a like. If you think this information is going to be useful to someone that you know, share it with them. Because in this case, sharing is caring. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful week.